It's finally happening. Elon Musk has made it official. The Tesla Model 2 is no longer just a digital render. The real deal, the actual chassis and interior, has now been fully revealed at Giga Texas. But hold on, what exactly does, confirmed in June, really mean? And why, after all the whispers about cancellations and financial risks, are investors still racing to get every detail they can about the Model 2? With leaked specs and a major breakthrough in cost-cutting, thanks to a 3,750 battery pack, Tesla isn't just entering the race. They're flipping the EV playbook upside down. Whether you see it as a downsized Model Y or a fresh mass-market disruptor, one thing is clear. The Model 2 is real, it's happening, and it's about to shake up the EV world, starting this June. So what's next? How did Tesla finally bring the elusive Model 2 to life? Welcome to Auto Intel. June 20th, 2025 is the launch window Elon locked in. That's when the Model 2 will officially break cover at Tesla's annual shareholder meeting. Pre-orders? They'll open right after the reveal. Full-scale production is set for Q1 of 2026, with Gigafactories in Mexico and Shanghai leading the charge. These sites are being rapidly scaled up to support an ambitious goal, 500,000 units per CIRV, a year by mid-2025, with a whopping 60% of that volume earmarked just for the Model 2. But this is about more than just a new car. The Model 2 is a cornerstone of Tesla's bigger vision. It's built to plug directly into Tesla's upcoming robo-taxi fleet, which kicks off right in Austin, Texas. Here's the twist. Model 2 owners will have the option to lease their cars to Tesla's autonomous network and earn passive income, potentially up to $1,000 a month. Even at just 50% utilization, the vehicle could generate $12,000 a year, basically paying for itself in under 12 months. There's more. With Starlink integration baked in, Tesla aims to turn every Model 2 into a rolling Wi-Fi hotspot. Owners could share internet access and receive a cut of that subscription revenue. Early estimates say anywhere from $100 to $1,000 per year just by keeping the car connected. The urgency behind the Model 2's release isn't just technical or financial. It's geopolitical. Tesla is facing serious pressure from rivals like BYD in China, which already sells EVs under $12,000. Meanwhile, new legislation in the US could gut essential EV tax credits by 2026, a massive blow unless Tesla can a offset that hit with a truly low-cost model. And now, the Model 2 has been spotted again, this time at the Fremont factory. It's still wrapped in heavy camouflage, especially around the front and back, but one thing stands out. It's clearly smaller than the Model Y. It gives off that compact crossover vibe, and here's the real surprise. It looks like it. Only has two doors, kind of like the Cybercab. Now that's going to spark some opinions. Let's be honest, a lot of people still don't believe Tesla is ever going to launch an affordable Model 2. It's that classic, I'll believe it, when I see it, mindset. Ever since Elon first hinted at a budget Tesla, the hype has been huge. Fans have been dreaming up concepts, speculating on features, and debating the price. But the longer the wait, the more skeptical folks become. Some say Tesla isn't in a rush because cheap cars don't make much profit. Others believe it's because Tesla just hasn't cracked the code on how to build anything under $30,000. And yeah, there's always that crowd that claims Model 2 is just another stock-boosting stunt from Elon. To be fair, we used to think that too. But things are changing fast. It's looking more and more like those delays were just temporary. Production plans are finally falling into place, supply chain issues have eased, and if the latest rumors are true, the Model 2 could be officially revealed as soon as mid-next month, perfectly aligning with Elon's promise of a budget Tesla in the first half of this year. And this time, it actually feels real. The Model 2 isn't some ground-up, all-new concept. It's essentially a smaller, simplified version of the Model Y. Elon and Tesla's engineering chief Lars Moravi have already confirmed that it'll even be built on the same production lines. That's all part of the master plan. To hit that magic $25,000 price point, Tesla is going ultra-minimalist. Sure, it won't have the polish of a Model 3 or Model Y, but those are the trade-offs when you're going for affordability, and one of the biggest cost-cutting wins, the battery. 
Word is, Tesla has developed a battery pack that costs just $20,500. That's insane. This isn't one of those 65 or 75 kilowatt hour monsters either. It's smaller, around 50 to 55 kilowatt hour. And it uses LFP chemistry, which is cheaper and safer, though it doesn't deliver the same high-end performance. But that's not the point. The goal here is affordability, and thanks to its lighter, Frame and aerodynamic design, the Model 2 is expected to get up to 300 miles of range. Normally, a 50 kilowatt pack would give you 250 miles tops, but Tesla's efficiency game is strong. They're squeezing every bit of range out of it. Elon said it before, most people don't need more than 300 miles a day. And honestly, he's right. Now as for how it looks, think Model Y, but about 20% smaller. Still sleek, still modern, just more compact and perfect for city life. The big mystery? Whether Tesla will go with the older Model Y look or the new facelifted version. Fingers crossed for the updated design with the slick light bar. It's clean, it's futuristic, and it just fits. Inside, the Model 2 keeps its super stripped down. Smaller wheels, single pane glass, cloth seats instead of leather. No seat warmers or coolers. The touchscreen? Smaller too likely 10 to 12 inches instead of 15. Don't expect a rear screen either, which alone saves up to $500 per car. Audio? Probably a basic 7 to 9 speaker setup, compared to 15 in the top end Y. The trunk? Manual lift gate. The hood? Just standard metal. All of these moves are intentional. Tesla is cutting the fluff to keep things accessible. Let's talk power. A while back, Tesla said they were developing a $1,000 motor for budget models. Details have been thin, but the Model 2 might finally bring it to life. They're also reportedly moving toward using ferrite magnets instead of expensive rare earth. It ones a game changer for cost. If this plays out, the motor could put out between 200 and 250 horsepower. That means 0 to 60 in 6 to 7 seconds. Pretty solid for a compact car. Compare that to the $2,000 motor in a Model Y, and you're looking at big savings. One more thing, don't expect full self-driving to come standard here. The Model 2 probably won't include FSD unless you pay extra. Basic safety features like emergency braking and collision warnings? Sure. But the full suite of cameras and sensors? Likely optional. Everything about the Model 2 screams affordability. From its streamlined design to its simplified features, Tesla's aiming to bring advanced EV tech to the masses. And the next big step in that journey? The Cybercab, this driverless robo-taxi, is Tesla's next wildcard. So, how will it launch? What will it look like? And can it really deliver on Elon's promise of total autonomy? Waymo's co-CEO recently admitted how hard it is to earn public trust with robo-taxis, even after logging over 10 million rides. But Tesla's not trying to copy Waymo. The Cybercab isn't a retrofit or a modified EV van. It's a purpose-built autonomous machine. And the debut? It's set for this month, right in Austin, Texas. Tesla's already been testing driverless Model Ys in Austin, and now they've been officially licensed as an autonomous vehicle operator by the Texas DMV. That's a huge step. Elon says they'll Start with just 10 vehicles, but the plan is to scale fast. Potentially thousands of cybercabs on the road if all goes well. The design? It's like nothing you've seen before. No door handles. No side mirrors. No grill. Every part is functional and optimized. Flush lighting, hidden sensors, and a sleek aerodynamic silhouette. Inside, it's a totally different experience. No steering wheel. No pedals. No traditional driver's seat. Just open space and modular. A lounge-style seating designed for comfort and social interaction. Materials will be antimicrobial and easy to clean, perfect for high-usage fleets. Control will be fully digital. Think one central display, or maybe no screen at all. Passengers will use the Tesla app for everything, unlocking the car, setting, a destination, adjusting climate, even entertainment. Tesla's goal, total cost efficiency. Seats will be tough and damage-resistant. Floors will be transit grade. Lighting will auto adjust based on time of day or mood. Even the choice to ditch fancy features like panoramic roofs and rear displays is intentional. Less complexity, more savings. Cybercab is built for scale. 
it has less than half the parts of a Model 3. No rear seats in some versions. No premium. Sound systems. Just a smart, clean, durable design made for autonomy. And here's the crazy part. Tesla is targeting an operating cost of just 20 to 25 cents per mile. That includes depreciation, charging, maintenance, insurance, everything. How? By charging off-peak, reducing breakdowns, cutting parts, and using fully automated cleaning systems. Compared to Waymo's cost of 70 cents to one plusters per mile, Tesla's numbers are game-changing. So the real question is, is Tesla's bold minimalism genius? Or does it risk losing the brand's premium edge? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and let us know where you stand. If you're enjoying this breakdown of Tesla's next-gen EV plans and want to keep up with everything, from the Model 2 to the Cybercab, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Auto Intel. We're pushing toward our next big milestone, 1,000 subscribers, and your support makes all the difference. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.